today I will be making a tutorial on how to make a self-supporting, self-generating biomass multi-farm. So, I have already set it up, kind of. This is my survival world, so I'll be doing this in survival. Uh, I have a 25 by 25 hole dug out just in case, but I don't think you need that much space. So I built a standard 3x3x4 three by three by uh, multi-farm. It's the smallest you can make it. So I have one gearbox. This is what uh, intakes the energy. I have two farm hatch hatches, one here and one here. This one on the left side is for input. This one is for output. And in the back there's nothing, but over there is the farm valve in the middle of the bottom. So I set up a 3x3 three three water thing with a oculus accumulator that's directly outputting to the valve. And then up here I have a farm control but I don't think it's really needed. For a farm you need, for inputs you need fertilizer and dirt. And so I have these barrels set up. Now this is stuff is not exactly automated but if you set up the biomass that you get from this to like a quarry or something, you can uh, set up like auto crafting tables and stuff to make the fertilizer and the dirt. On the output, it's going to be outputting wood, sand, saplings, and apples. Now, with saplings, you're going to be turning that into, you're going to be putting it into a fermenter to make the biofuel biomass. The apples, you're going to be using it to make you put it into a squeezer to make apple juice and the wood is used to make charcoal that will power steam engines that will power your whole thing and sand you're not gonna really do much with sand so yeah I'm gonna get to building some things and then I'll show you by the way I should point out the mods that I'll be using this is not a specific uh, mod pack that I'm using I just put these mods together but the mods that I'll be using for this are Thermal dynamics for the item ducts and the servos and stuff like that. Uh, Jabba, G A B B A, which is better barrels. You could also use normal barrels, but better barrels are better, basically. And forestry and build craft, and I think that's the most of it. If there's any other mods, I will also include that. All right, I've made a bit of progress. First off, I for the hatch that will be the output, I have put separated the output into different barrels. So this is where sand will go, this is where apples will go, this is where saplings will go, and this is where wood will go. And I have filters for them to make sure that the correct item goes to it because I'm going to be only sand really because I don't have any use for sand that is produced by this. So it will just stay in the barrel. All the other stuff will be outputted back out again. Then I set up the steam dynamos. Here they are. Six of them. They have levers. Uh, basically the wood will go to a redstone furnace and then it will cr uh, create a coal which will go through here. And then I'll have a backup barrel here for the extras. Uh, and it's all going into this hardened energy cell. Yeah, oh, right, and then that Oculus accumulator that I have, I have the water going through here, it's underground, so I can't see the pipe, and yeah, they power through the bottom, the steam dynamos. Now all we need is charcoal, and it'll start working. Alright, so I have set up here the redstone furnace. It has input through this side, and output through this one. And I have the leadstone or the hardened energy cell actually powering it. Oh wait a minute. Oh right, because I turned it on. Okay. So it's gonna be filling that up. I have brought a stack of wood to get this started. And by the way, all the servos here I have it set to low, so they're automatically on and you don't need levers beside them. And also, uh basically the way it works is you need to start it up with saplings but all the excess saplings will be outputted and that's what you use for the fermenter to create the biomass. So, haven't tested this out, but I wanna 
see if it works because so far it should start working so I'll put this here uh, let's see yeah it's already working it's already planting and stuff let me put this here but this energy cell is gonna run out of energy pretty quick so I want to oh right and then I need to turn this on and yep there we go it'll go into here It'll create charcoal. The charcoal will be outputted. Yep, there we go. It'll go into one of these dynamos. And then it will... Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it like... Oh yeah, it's gonna fill up one until it's completely filled up. Alright, so it's producing steam, which is what it's using to power it up. And it's gaining energy, which is good. So now it's the waiting game, really. Oh, and by the way, yeah, for these filters over here, you need at least a reinforced filter so you can set it to a whitelist because you want it to be a whitelist instead of the blacklist. Oh, hold on. Now it should get energy to chop it down, hopefully. Oh, yep, it's it cleared it. Now let's see. Will the output go out? Oh, I might need a servo. Alright. I think. Oh, it's cutting down more. Oh my god. Alright, let me put a servo. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So as you can see, it is going to the correct place because of the filter. It's the only place where it can go. The apples are going into here. And soon, hopefully, it's going to take a while, but the saplings are going to start replenishing themselves. Okay. If you use a Signalum servo, it and you turn it here to round robin, it needs to be a Signalum. Uh, reinforced actually might work too. Uh, I haven't tried it, but basically, you make it round robin, and it may basically means I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it splits up the the coal. So as you can see, we start up with six. Uh, oh, can I not change it? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so this is gonna start producing some weird saplings. That might be a problem. As you can see, this is different saplings. Oak sapling and apple oak sapling. Alright, so for the apple oak saplings against the normal s oak saplings, I basically just set up two barrels and just did another filter. And basically, when I'm, like, I'm pretty sure they do the exact same thing. It's just that they're called something different. There are some trees that provide, that the saplings provide more biomass or biofuel. So you might want to, if you're good at that whole forestry stuff, you might want to breed and try to make a better tree, I guess. Alright, I have set up the squeezer, the fermenter, and that might be the build pretty much basically so okay here's the squeezer I have the apples uh, to be pushed out into the squeezer the power is coming from underground here as you can see it's in the black in the cobblestone I mean as you can see it's under there I I am using hardened fluid ducts and that's because um, leadstone fluid ducts can only output 200 RF while hardened Flu flux ducts, I mean, can output 800. Okay, yeah, then I have the saplings getting out of the uh, barrels into the fermenter. I think soon enough uh, there won't be any more of these oak saplings. It will all be just apple oak saplings. So, it's being outputted here, and as you can see, it creates biomass. It the Because I'm outputting the fruit juice to go to here, into the fermenter. I put this barrel here but to output the mulch that goes into here. It's so there's like a backup. Then you can just put your biomass wherever you want really. Oh and by the way you might want to sometimes like you might want to keep some of the wood instead of all it all going into charcoal. Okay I can confirm that if you get a reinforced servo it does the job well enough to ha be able to put it into round robin so 
yeah, it's going to extract 64. You're probably going to want to set it to be more even at like 2 maybe. Or actually just 1. Yeah, see it's going evenly. It is done. Yeah, I've installed a iron tank by... It, this is from Railcraft, but it's not needed. You can use other forms of tanks. So yeah, now I got this biomass. I can use a biogas engine. And in terms of expansion, if you want to expand this, like, as you know, you can make it 5x5, five five, this central machine here, so you can have way more space. So yeah, if you start at a 3x3, three three, you can expand it to a 4x4 four four or 5x5. Five five. Yeah, if you have any questions about it, you can tell me. I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.